Hello and welcome. Noted environmentalist and Gandhian Sundarlal Bahuguna succumbed to COVID at AIMS Rishikesh. He was 94 years of age. A beacon of the Indian environmental movement, Sundarlal Bahuguna was the driving force behind the legendary Chipko movement against deforestation that marked a key milestone in Indian environmentalism. Sundarlal Bahuguna was born in Tehri, a district in Uttarakhand in 1927. Inspired by Mahatma Gandhi, he participated in the independence movement in his teenage years and subsequently became a part of Acharya Vinoba Bhave's Sarvodaya movement. Bahuguna's life was dedicated to social causes, activism and writing. With his wife Vimla, he dedicated his life to the cause of society and environment. Since his early days as an activist, Bahuguna believed in the power of women. He believed that women and nature are intrinsically connected and demonstrated that women can lead change. He pioneered many social movements with women crusaders. Most noteworthy was the Chipko movement. The Chipko movement was a string of farmers' movements centered around livelihood in the Himalayan hills, which was intimately dependent on forests. The root cause of the movement was reckless cutting of trees in 1970s in the upper reaches of Uttarakhand by timber merchants. In early 1974, when the state government announced the auction of 2,500 trees in Upper Alaknanda Valley, the local women, led by Gora Devi, came out in large numbers and stopped the merchants by hugging the trees. Sundarlal Bahuguna took the Chipko movement, started by women from Reni village in Chamoli district of Uttarakhand, to the world. He carried the discourse of environment, forests, and ecology to the rest of the country and placed it on an international stage. He transformed the spontaneous Chipko movement into a turning point in India's forest conservation efforts by taking it to different parts of Uttarakhand, forcing the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi to impose a 15-year ban on tree cutting in the state. Bahuguna also supported other women-led movements against the liquor mafia in the hills and the Beach Bachao Andolan, a movement to save Himalayan agricultural biodiversity. Over the decades, his name became closely associated with environmental issues. He took awareness campaigns across India, including a 5,000-kilometer Kashmir to Kohima Padyatra in the early 1980s to bring attention to the entire Himalayan region. Bahuguna also opposed the construction of the Tehri Dam by undertaking one of India's longest fasts after independence for 56 days, convincing the authorities to reduce the dam height, thereby saving hundreds of trees. In 1981, he had refused to accept the Padma Shri Award over the government's refusal to cancel the Tehri Dam project despite his protests. Bahuguna's Gandhian methods of protest and hunger strikes against the dam defined the Tehri movement for over two decades. He was also a true follower of Gandhian values in food, attire and behavior. Like his mentor Gandhi, he was also a firm believer that ecology is the permanent economy. Sundarlal Bahuguna inspired many young people through his passion for the environment. His sing-song voice, his Garwali phrases, the mix of science and grassroots wisdom in his arguments and the simplicity of his appearance, all these served to create deep impression on his listeners. At 94, his was a life well lived and a source of inspiration and learning for the ecological sensitivity. Goodbye to the God of Himalayan Ecology.